touch. Looking for a backdoor cut. Hurts open. He'll lay it in off the left side. So back to the left in Jeremy Roach. 15 to shoot. Tape a screen. 17 footer up and in. Down 28 to 16. 4.23 to play in the half. Roach floats it to Williams. And he dunks it down for two. Roach on the drive. Got to the baseline. Counted. And a chance for three. Jeremy Roach has come to life here in the first half. Definitely getting better at it. I mean, it's my first, this is my first four college games. Like, it's gonna come. I know it's gonna come. Uh, just gotta take it day by day and, and keep getting better. Just come out and play with confidence. I felt like my, my first three games, I was kind of feeling it out, but just trying to like kind of defer it up to the to the older guys. But today I had to be in attack mode and I just do that for the rest of the season. It's definitely a big learning tool for, uh, for me and the team. Uh, this is a top 10 team that we would have to beat in the tournament. And for me, uh, this is probably one of my, this is, this, this is my best game, so just gotta keep stacking them and, and be consistent. Well, I hope everyone is, is is doing all right. This is a uh, truly an incredible time, uh, and has been, you know, for our country. And it's it's it, it's at its worst time right now. And uh, you know, and making sure that we're doing the right thing for our players, you know, just for safety. You know, we're not you know, we're not going to play any non-conference games. We're not going to try to reschedule. We could reschedule three or try to reschedule uh, three games, and we're not gonna do that. And you know, we're gonna play conference and hopefully get to play all of them. We're also gonna allow our, our, our team to go home uh, for, for Christmas. It, it may not, they won't be there for Christmas Day, but to, they, these kids need, they need to be with their families for a little bit at least. And so we're going to have a four or five day period where, where they can be home after our Notre Dame game and then come back uh, before the, the actual Christmas day and get ready for the, uh, the rest of the ACC schedule. But uh, just for our, our, our fans out there, these kids go through a lot, you know, and, and it's, uh, they're not paid employees and uh, we need to take care of them. So. Uh, those are a couple of the decisions that we made, and uh, we feel very good about them. And the Illini are going to get a double-digit win on the road. 83-68, to 68, our final score. Look, I just got my butt beat by a lot, so anything I say, someone can say, well, he's saying that because he got his butt beat. And, uh, you know, what I... Do I think things should be done a little bit differently? Yeah, I mean, there. Uh, you know, a lot of kid, kids aren't going to be able to go home for for Christmas. It's probably a time where they should for mental health. Uh, we're just plowing through this. You know, after the Illinois game, I made uh, some comments about just. Uh, giving an assessment about what's going on right now with our game and not relying on an assessment that was made in early fall about what the season should look like. And uh, just to put it out there, the, the, you know, the prob one of the problems, and it, it, it's been a problem forever for college basketball, is that there's, no, uh, there's not a leader, you know, uh, someone where you can, what, in, in my background with the military and, and talking about leadership, uh, uh, a real important aspect is pinpoint responsibility. Like, you are responsible for this. Now, that doesn't mean you don't get a bunch of information from learned, learned people. And, but at the end of the day, you, you make decisions. Uh, the NCAA, runs college basketball by committees and so it, it doesn't afford uh, agile leadership you know good uh, instant pivoting if you if you need to and uh, we got to just be careful as we go into the rest of December and January which 
the medical people uh, have said that would be, you know, the deadliest in our in our country, and uh, to make sure that we're doing the right things uh, for the protection of our our players and and our staff. Duke All Access is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Together, taste better. By Ford, built for victory, built for the Carolinas. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. And by Gatorade, win from within. Don't wait for tomorrow. Make the days count. Gatorade has carbs to fuel and electrolytes to help replenish, so you can count on the proven formula. Nothing beats Gatorade. Nearly 150 years of experience goes into making each and every Continental tire. So you can trust with total confidence that our tires will deliver superior performance. No matter where the road takes you. Continental Tire. For what you do. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. gifts for under the tree and while you're at it bring the tree Ford F-150 built for the holidays now get F-150 with up to 11,000 in total savings including a thousand trade assist on top of your eligible trade-in only at your Carolina Ford dealer don't wait for tomorrow make the days count Gatorade has carbs to fuel and electrolytes to help replenish, so you can count on the proven formula. Nothing beats Gatorade. You know, one of the joys of recruiting is not just to recruit great young men, but to uh, re recruit families, great families. And that's been a part of this that people people really don't talk about that much. Yeah, basketball's always been a big thing uh, ever since birth for us, really. Um, being always, always able to ask questions to our parents, I think, was big, uh, especially at an early age. Uh, we, we got a lot of knowledge about the game. Uh, from because both of my parents played Division One basketball, and I just I just think I learned a lot from them. In in Jalen uh, Johnson's family, you know, we found that uh, Rod and Stacy, you know, they're just incredible people. We recruited Jalen for a long time, so we got to know them very well, and they're truly a basketball family. Two brothers, uh, one's at Western Illinois, and then the other is a senior in high school. My dad coached us all the three of the boys growing up uh, till I'd say about eighth grade. So kind of we were used to our dad being our coach our whole life, but I think he's embracing the parent role now much more. Both the parents have played. Uh, they, they love the game. And you know what, they, they, they love the people in the game. So that's been a, a heck of a thing for us uh, to get so close with them. If I won the Johnson basketball games or won, they were competitive, no matter what. Somebody would come in the house crying out of the three boys. Uh, so I think we, we always brought the best out of each other, uh, and it was definitely always a competitive household.
definitely when I got uh, the first call from Coach Shire, uh, it was just kind of the first conversation. You could tell how genuine the people here at Duke are. And that's something that uh, attracted my family and I for me to come here because uh, that's that's huge and something my family preaches and harps on. Coach K, um, he's been just really inspired me to be the best version of myself ever since I got here. Uh, I've never really had a coach like him. And it's just, it's just it, it feels great because uh, knowing that you have somebody that cares about you uh, more than just being a athlete is huge and I, I'll never take for granted. Competition level from high school to college is just crazy different. You just got to come ready. I think that you hear a lot of people talking about college is different, college workouts are different, but I think you really got to experience the college lifestyle to just understand and uh, be able to relate. Even though we can't have everyone gathered, we found new ways to make each occasion special. We're keeping your gifting experience both safe and personal through reads.com, answering all your questions and guiding you to the perfect present, just like we have for over 70 years. Family always finds a way to celebrate life's moments together, no matter what. You won't just shop with confidence at Reeds Jewelers and Reeds.com. You'll feel like family. You're injured, but at the insurance company, it's business as usual. Denied. This guy? They call him the deny guy. Denied. D-E-N-I-E-D. -E -E -D. Denied. Denied. He sings his song every day. Denied, denied, denied. Well, unless he hears from an experienced lawyer. Tell them you mean business. Call on the Hurt Line, the law offices of James Scott Farron, right now. What do you do after you're the number one selling brand of gas-powered handheld outdoor power equipment in America? You start making more equipment right here in America. Real Steel. Find yours. Nearly 150 years of experience goes into making each and every Continental tire. So you can trust with total confidence that our tires will deliver superior performance no matter where the road takes you. Continental Tire, for what you do. Duke 360, presented by Continental Tire, for what you do. Duke has a terrific history in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Uh, and it's great to have a big time event to be able to play uh, either home or on the road and uh, in, in home locations. Um, you know, it's a 22 year history of this ACC Big Ten Challenge. Duke has been a part of all of it, obviously. Over the 22 year history of the event, Duke has been the best team. Duke with a record now of 19 and three after the Illinois loss. Perhaps the best individual performance, and I remember this like it was yesterday, I was, I was still on the bench at Duke, had a, a front row seat for Kyrie Irving's performance, his un unforgettable performance back in December of 2010. Uh, Duke was the number one team in the country going into that game. Michigan State with Draymond Green was number six in the country, and Kyrie put on an absolute show that night in Cameron. 31 points, eight of 12, he went to the line 16 times. He was 13 of 16 from the foul line, had four assists in that game. And we needed every point. Duke needed every point in that game, ended up winning the game by five. Uh, unfortunately, the follow-on game, Kyrie ended up getting hurt. We ended up playing Butler up in New Jersey. And I remember talking to Brad Stevens before the game. He was the coach still at, at Butler at the time. And I remember talking to him before the game and he said he had watched Kyrie's performance in the Michigan State win and said that open pick and roll that, that we ran with Kyrie at the top, 
it was one of the most difficult things he's ever seen on tape to try to scheme for, to have to guard. Uh, Kyrie was so dynamic, so good in reading that pick and roll. Of course, that team had shooters on the perimeter, Seth Curry, Andre Dawkins. You had Mason Plumlee uh, running that pick and roll, catching lobs. But it was Kyrie Irving, his offensive ability that showed what kind of player he was and was going to be. He ended up being the number one pick in the draft after that season. Uh, it was in that ACC Big Ten Challenge game against Michigan State that was really the coming out party for Kyrie Irving. Betts around to the left. Now Coleman a steal. Cutting in front of Whelan. Going to take it the other way, and he will dunk it down to take the lead back to 20. Well, when – yeah, everything went haywire with scheduling, you know, uh, and the NCAA did not allow every team to have 27 games. It, it, you could have 25 or 24, uh, uh, but you had to, you could get two or three more if you were in an MTE, uh, a multi-team uh, event. And uh, uh, when we were not able to do the Bahamas, and uh, we decide you could run your own. And so uh, we scheduled 25 games, and then the MTE uh, was a four-team event. And what we tried to do is make sure that the teams, we wouldn't bring four teams here. Uh, you'd bring one at a time, uh, Elon and Bellerman, and then uh, we partnered with Howard, and we wouldn't play Howard, and we did that because we're, you know, we wanted to honor, and we did honor, Dr. Anya Akwari, uh, the first black surgeon here at Duke, and you know, an incredible human being and a, a great f friend. And we asked permission from uh, his wife, who's a beautiful person, and uh, if, it, if we could honor him in this way. And we felt to honor him even more by having uh, an historically black university, one of the best in the, in the country, and Howard may be the best, uh, to be a partner in that would give even further, it would mean even more in, in that regard. And, and basically, three of our former players, uh, Kenny Blakeney's the head coach, Thomas Hill's up there, Tyler Thornton is up there, and uh, you know, these, these guys knew and were mentored in some way uh, by Dr. Aquari because he was so close to our program. If you look at my staff, uh, you know, Thomas Hill is our director of basketball operations. Tyler Thornton is one of my assistant coaches. Uh, you even look at my agent, Carmen Wallace, uh, who played at Duke, uh, is, is my agent. So I have the brotherhood surrounded by me uh, and it means so much because I've been in the trenches with those guys and I know what their reactions will be and what they are uh, while they're being tested in those trenches and battles. So for me to know, you know, and have some familiarity with those guys as my brothers, um, it means the world to me. We understand what winning is like, but we also understand uh, what it takes to win. And it's winning is really hard in college basketball. Um, so I don't take that for granted. And I think having guys that really understand that, have gone through it, uh, and can navigate that is really important. Now a steal by Stewart. And a chance to run. He'll take it. And, oh, goodness! The right-handed hammer! And a chance for three. Duke basketball is brought to you by Duke Credit Union. Your credit union, your life. By Mako Medical, the official testing partner of Duke Athletics and the ACC. And by Duke Health, the official team doctors for Duke Athletics. Don't wait for tomorrow. Make the days count. Gatorade has carbs to fuel and electrolytes to help replenish. So you can count on the proven formula. Nothing beats Gatorade. She's the one, and you know it. At Reads.com, we're making it easy to find the perfect ring from home. With helpful advice from our online jewelry experts, safe and discreet shipping, and beautiful ring packaging, you'll be confident the moment will be as perfect for her as she is for you. As a trusted jeweler for over 70 years, Reads Jewelers will be here to make both of you feel like family. Yeah! 
long after she says yes. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> It's like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. It's bow time. Dad, we're hungry. Yep, to the grill. No, 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 no. Out of gas on game day? Drop a big bow box on it. Game on. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of scratch-made chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea. It's bow time. Don't wait for tomorrow. Make the days count. Gatorade has carbs to fuel and electrolytes to help replenish, so you can count on the proven formula. Nothing beats Gatorade. The crazies are to Cameron as peanut butter is to jelly. They just go together. But as we know, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this year has been unlike any other. So winter sports at Duke will begin with no fans in attendance. So as Coach K and his staff were preparing for the product on the court, there was a girl gang behind the scenes preparing for the product off the court. How was Cameron Indoor Stadium going to look and sound like without the crazies? My name is Debbie Shajewski Savarino. My name is Rachel Curtis. My name is Megan Arce. My name is Michaela Ryan. And we're the Girl Gang. You know, our first primary focus back in the spring was actually getting our athletes to be able to play safely. And it wasn't until we really became more assured that we would have a season um, that all of a sudden we started saying, well, now we've got to make it look right. So we decided we had to make Cameron as normal as possible. We knew that we wanted to honor the traditions of Cameron. And so there were two groups of people that we really wanted to make sure we took care of. Number one was our basketball team. We wanted them to feel like Cameron was a game day experience for them, that they walked out there and they were surrounded by their fans. The second group of people we wanted to take care of were the Cameron Crazies. That includes the grad students, the undergrads, and the pet band. I received a phone call from a graphic designer we work with frequently, and that really got my mind going, and I started thinking about what I wanted to do in here and what I wanted the vision to be. And then all of a sudden that kind of crosses over into um, Debbie's territory and Megan's territory, which is the fan experience in here. So it really was a natural fit for the three of us to start working together. And then the three of us can't work together in here without Michaela because Michaela oversees all game day operations. So we really had to um, all put all different areas of our brains together and, and come up with a plan that would work and it would be suitable for what was happening on the court. So we started melding together um, with the help of our photographer, Reagan Lund, started putting together all pictures of all Cameron crazies that we could find in recent years. There are about 780 students, and so we had to comb through many, many more than that to get the right ones. We knew we didn't want them to be individual cutouts, and there's nothing wrong with that, but we really wanted something very different here. Um, so we studied a lot of different stadiums, but what we knew that we wanted was more continuity. So that's how we went with the longer bands of material. And the only material that we found that we could print on really well is um, almost like a Spanx material. So it has a little bit of stretch and a little bit of give to it. And you can still print on it and get a really good um, depth of color because we didn't want it to feel flat. I still hear your voice. There's three things that have to happen before you can play a game in Cameron. One is you have to hear every time we touch. Two is you have to have baby in the gym. Baby is important. Baby Cammy has to have a spot in Cameron. And so we have temporary custody of baby Cammy this year. And she has been at every game thus far. And three, you have to have trip say, here comes Duke. Yeah. 
walking onto this court is always an honor, but probably this season more than ever because so few people are getting to do it. And so I think that all of us working together on this really, really took that seriously. And we wanted to make sure that we were creating the experience, not just for our student athletes here on the court, but also for all the fans at home who are watching and can't be here. And they just, we know they wanna be here so badly. And when we're here watching these games, I think it's not lost on any of us. We look down at the court and it feels so totally different. But the most important thing is that the kids are out here playing and doing what they do. And so that's what it's about. Perbello trying to penetrate, chase from behind and stolen by Goldwire. Five on three, Goldwire takes it in, put it up, got it blocked, Hurt cleans it up off the left side for two. The four games that we've played, uh, you know, obviously we're not playing well at all on the offensive end of the court. It's very sporadic. Uh, there are times uh, within uh, the Bellarmine game, Illinois, and uh, Michigan State that, uh, I mean, there were some good segments, but there, there's not the consistency. And part of that is, you know, the we still haven't found our, ourselves like the right chemistry. I mean, th these kids have great attitudes and they're working hard, but um, uh, any team you have to hit on uh, a group or a rotation, uh, a way of you know that you, that you're going to play. And on the defensive side of the court, we, we've kind of, we've done that. They've they've actually played well defensively, although our offense puts a lot of pressure on the defense, especially when we turn the ball over and uh, or we take a low percentage shot. And when that happens, the the other team's offense picks up because they usually come down with a, uh, a numerical advantage or you're not ready for a transition because you've taken a shot when you're uh, when you shouldn't take a shot. And uh, that's part of the inexperience that we, we have. And we have to just keep working at it. Like we're, you know, we have to, in order to become a very good basketball team, you have to become a good team. And then you become very good. And we're not, we're not a good team right now because of our offense. We're, we're okay. Uh, in fact, we're good defensively, but we're overall, we, got a, we have a lot of work to do and we're gonna keep working. It's, uh, this is a group that can get uh, a lot better and it's up to me and my staff to make sure that that's done.